Okay, so here we are on this question. They're asking us match each scatter plot shown below with one of the four specific correlations. So again, when they say correlations, they mean linear correlation coefficient R. We call it R. They're not. There's no R anywhere in this question. Whoop, sorry. I skipped right past what I wanted to show you. So here we are from the last question again. I want to remind you what R looks like. R is positive 1.0 if the dots form a perfect line going upwards. Positive slope, positive 1.0. R is a value between negative 1.0 and positive 1.0 with zero right in the middle. If the line, if the dots go down in a perfect line, that's negative 1.0. Perfect. But if the dots go up a little bit looser, that might be like positive 0.85, that might be 0.90, I don't know. And if they go down, see how this line goes down to the right, a little bit looser, that's negative 0.9. Mine, this last one went up, you know, even looser, but up, line going up and not super tight, that's why mine was positive 0 0.6. If the dots are just everywhere, they don't make a line at all, that's basically an R value of zero, which might show up on your calculator as positive 0.10 or negative 0.10 or 0.09 or 0.08 or 0.12. Those are all basically zero, no line. The dots don't line up at all. Okay, so there's the different linear correlation coefficients, R values based on the dot plot, the, where it's called a scatter plot, actually. The dots are scattered. Okay, so let's take a look then. So I'm going to try to draw a line through the middle the best I can. It looks to me like this one is a line going sort of down going to be one of the negative values. It's not, well, and then this one here is, is a line going down, and it's even tighter, isn't it? That looks even better. Here, let me, let me do different colors for each of these. Perhaps. Okay. Oop, I made a curve. It's supposed to be a straight line. Through the middle of the dots, I kind of missed a little bit there. Through the middle of the dots, it's going down with a tighter pattern. So this one's going to be the, the negative 0 0.83, because that one's closer to 1, whereas this one up here is going to be to the negative 0 0.38, because they're both the negative ones, because they're going down. <clears throat> but the dots are fitting in a tighter pattern here, so that makes a number closer to 1.0, or negative 1.0 in this case. Right, the closer the R, remember R is a value between negative one and positive one. The closer it is to, to 1.0 or negative 1.0, the tighter the dots fit together. How about this one right here? The dots are going up to the right, fairly tight. That's gotta be the uh, 0 0.83 right there. Nope, took the wrong one, didn't I? And the final one is uh, this. Looks like here the dots are kind of going up, not very tight at all. Um, to the right, it's going to be the uh, 0 0.37. They're going up, but not very tight, not very close to 1.0, right? They're going up fairly loosely. So the tighter the dots fit, the closer we are to 1.0 or negative 1.0 if it's going down. So that's the linear R, the linear correlation coefficient. It's a measure of how, how much these two variables, which produce these dots, how closely they fit to a linear pattern. Do they have a linear relationship to each other? That's what we're wondering. So we're going to do some real life applications in a minute. For now, we're just getting used to looking at the tools, the dots, like that. There we go.